Hey everyone. Oh boy. Um, I actually knew about this story uh, last week, but it, it slipped my mind because I was I was covering a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so big credit to Eurogamer for bringing this back to the light yesterday. Uh, it, it's it, it's like nearly impossible to get a PlayStation Five. I'm sure you are aware of that at this point. There has been some restocks that have been going on. Uh, so. Uh, like, I think today, I think my local Walmart actually had some P- PS5s that were gone before I got there. Not that it matters, because I, I don't have the money to buy one right at this point. Uh, hopefully will this spring. But, this is crazy. We have some Fast and the Furious level gang-related robberies going on. High-speed, sort of, robberies. Depending on what you consider to be high-speed. So that, let's just read. Let's just read this post. So this was posted by uh, Wesley Yin Poole, deputy editor. Deputy. I, lo- I like their their uh, names for the editors there. Uh, gangs are hitting lorries on the run to steal PlayStation Fives. A new report is revealed. Over the weekend, the Times, which is paywalled, reported that deliveries of PlayStations, TVs, cosmetics, mobile phones, and cigarettes have been raided in recent months using a stunt known as. The rollover. This involves gangs using multiple cars to box in a lorry, which is, you know, like a, a semi truck, going at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. One gang member climbs out, secured by rope, through a sunroof or modified hatch, then uses cutting tools or a crowbar to break into the lorry, climb aboard, and throw out the goods. The Times said the rollover has been used at least 27 times. This year dating back to September, and that figure has risen in recent weeks as gangs attempt to cash in on pre-Christmas deliveries of expensive goods. Apparently, police have issued alerts to haulers over the tactic. The paper spoke to a career criminal who said gangs were focusing on goods in transit because of heightened security elsewhere in the supply chain. According to the report, several raids targeted luxury goods sold by department stores and belonging to tech companies. The Times quotes a former security manager at the Road Haulage Association who said gangs were getting inside information. Somebody must know when and where that vehicle is, and it can't just be random that you are going to attack that. Somebody has done some tipping off. The rollover stunt has been used by gangs to hijack lorries for years. In 2012, Romanian police released an astonishing video showing an attempt to rob a truck while speeding along a motorway in the dark. So this is, this is night vision. So just take a look at this. Wow. I'll full screen this for you guys. Maybe. Maybe. Let's open some new tab. Now, this isn't a current, you know, robbery. This is from, you know, 2012. But this is just showing what, what it's kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. This is a thing that people are doing. Now, I don't know if this is the wrong truck, because you're going to see they don't actually... They, they, they abandon stealing after they get the door open. I wonder if they... I, I want to see this again. I wonder if they saw inside the truck and were like, oh, this wasn't the one we thought. Yeah, see? Opens the door and maybe realize, oh, this is the wrong truck. That's what I think happened. They opened it up and like, oh, this is the wrong truck. Because they easily could have got in there and started stealing. So that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a situation... Where gangs have who have been doing this for a while, predating PlayStation 5, are specifically targeting trucks carrying PlayStation 5s. That's the world we live in right now. Gangs are cashing in on the holidays, cashing in for PlayStation 5s. I mean, let's just let's just look at the comments on this. I mean, yes, it's terrible. The criminals, it's extremely foolish and dangerous to do this. But on the other hand, that is some fast and furious shit right there. Like, right? You know, you watch Fast and the Furious and you're like, okay, yeah, this this has probably happened before, but it's not that common, right? It, it can't be that common that high-speed robberies are happening of semi-trucks. Apparently, it's more common than you think. This is insane. Um, you can't buy p- publicity like this. Microsoft are probably considering hiring an A-team to assault their delivery trucks. 
<laughs> like, think of the publicity this is for the first, like, I don't know if this video is going to get much views. I have no idea. But this is, this is insane. We have some Fast and Furious style robberies happening so people can cash in on PlayStation 5s. Because think about this. You know what's better than selling a PlayStation 5 for a 500 to potentially $1,000 profit if you could somehow move it on eBay or, or Amazon or whatever for $1,500, the disc version? How about not paying for them at all and making a $1,000 profit guarantee because you're going to bare minimum move it for eleven to $1,200? <laughs> Holy crap. B bit of a weird story to focus on PlayStation 5. Seems like they don't care what they get. Uh, it's also about cosmetics and TVs. So... To focus on, on on the PlayStation 5 aspect, that is because uh, in recent weeks it has, it has picked up and increased. And uh, when you dig further into the Times article, which unfortunately I can't show you, it's behind a paywall, uh, it does specifically say that one of, uh, one of their sources is claiming a huge reason they're increasing right now is because they're trying to nab as many PlayStation 5 shipments as they can, specifically because PlayStation 5 has such a high turnaround rate right now. You can quickly, if you don't pay any money for it, list it for 900 bucks and make a $900 profit. You get a truck full of hundreds of PlayStation 5s. I mean, you're talking thousands, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars, you know, of profit, depending on how many of those PlayStation 5s you get your hands on. So it's, it's pretty insane. Uh, now, obviously, one thing about stealing electronics, especially one that has to connect to the internet, like a PlayStation 5, you, it, it could be, um, like delisted by by playstation uh and, and blacklisted but then you're affecting consumers that might be legitimately buying these systems through uh third-party websites so it, it's a tough situation here where you know you don't really want to punish the consumer you just want you know the gangs to be caught and broken up or, or whatever's happening in regards to this uh low lives being low lives Hope they got a lot of cats to feed. Imagine the gangs would be upset after they robbed a consignment of PlayStation 5s only to find out that they've got cat food. <laughs> like, that was one thing about that when they, that, that video they had from 2012 when they were caught was, like, clearly what was in that truck wasn't what they hoped it was going to be. Um, I will buy any game that I can do this in. Uh, it's funny. Well, this is kind of like Grand Theft Auto, sort of. Uh, if so, when the Daily Mail picks up on this, I'd like the man and the mana from heaven. They can complain about eBay ripoffs for consoles, then link to how video games like GTA inspire crime and immigrants. Because, well, <laughs> what the hell is going on in this comment section? You could have this for your weekend article. Someone should make a game up on this. Like, th this is such an insane story, and uh, it shouldn't be shocking. Uh, in the world we live in, in twenty twenty, is this shocking? PlayStation 5s are being jacked, Fast and the Furious style. And, uh... <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm kind of laughing. Like, it's not funny. The, the, it's funny to me because it's actually happening. But it's really not that funny. Uh, consumers are being greatly affected by this in the countries it's happening in. I'm sure, like, I wouldn't be surprised it happened in the United States. Uh, but if you think about it, you know, the supply chains have gotten really secure for these devices over the years. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of security and a lot of checkpoints at, uh, at warehouses now. Uh, there used to not be as many, but now there's a lot just due to, you know, issues that have come at warehousing. Uh, and there's a, a lot of uh, security and, and stuff going on, obviously, at the retail end. And even when it comes to delivery trucks, because we talked about, about before how PlayStation 5s and also like FedEx was, you know, workers were potentially stealing PlayStation 5s. It's it's very difficult for a standard employee to steal a PlayStation 5, but not impossible. Uh, so even if they, maybe if they were stealing PlayStation 5s, uh, it wasn't, you know, as easy as some people made it out to be, uh, you know, because of the tracking of the package. Uh there's certain things where they would have to, you know, give it to somebody or drop it off somewhere along their route because uh, they can't leave their route because that gets suspicious. Uh, so it, it's very interesting to see uh, this happening uh, in this way because the weakest link is going to be when it's on the road between warehouses, you know, to get to the stores or to get to the warehouses off the boats. Like it's going to be the weakest link uh, there is to get a hold of this stuff. So I'm. I'm I'm both impressed, but also like, what a crappy thing that happened to us consumers. Oh man! Now you have to start wondering like how many of those scalpers out there actually paid for the systems, or if they're just Fast and the Furious jacking them and selling them.
Man, what a world. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel RoboJets from the Tender Prime. Hope you enjoyed this, this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.